what are what are some common things that you see from streamers that are subject to you know legal takedowns? Oh man, literally your entire profession. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, now I'll, I'll walk that back a bit. Twitch has been very good recently about reaching out to popular games such as Epic. I don't know what game they made that's popular right now, <laughs> but um, to get licenses for to have that content appear on Twitch. Um, but in general, everything that is created on Twitch is infringing. For example, if I go out and I play Binding of Isaac, um, and I don't have permission from their publisher, Nicholas, to play it. And Nicholas says, oh, this Noah guy, he's a lawyer. We hate every lawyer in the world. Um, let's go ahead and issue a DMCA takedown because he doesn't have our permission to use this. Um, they could take my stuff down like that because they hold all the power. Um, I'm, I'm really happy that everybody in chat is kind of blowing up right now. Like what? So literally the entire profession is illegal. If you make fun. So, um, but there's ways around that games and developers have written licenses for, uh, streamers to use their work. Um, for example, and this is going to another DMCA, um, um, uh, issue that arose last year. Firewatch was a game, uh, I forget who published that game, but Firewatch um, had a license on their, on their website that essentially said, you can use, you can play our game, you can live stream our game as much as you want. Um, and so PewDiePie did. And then PewDiePie dropped the end bomb while he was playing PUBG, not even playing Firewatch. Um, PewDiePie had like done a lot of work for, um, uh, Firewatch the year before it had gotten really popular, sold a lot of Firewatch. And so Firewatch came out and said, um, we are going to issue DMCA takedowns of every single thing that PewDiePie did. We are revoking his license to upload this game or, or to stream this game or revoking his license to keep this game and all his YouTube videos upload it. Uh, he no longer has it. As long as they continue to stay up, we're going to issue DMCA takedowns. Very bad political move by Firewatch because there's a lot of flack on the community that came back on them like, how can you do this? But they were well within their rights to do it. Because the minute they revoked that license, um, then uh, those videos staying up was infringement. So a company can issue a DMCA for any reason on anybody, like for their game. Like, so like if I stream mm -hmm. Batman and Hunter streams Batman and they decide that they don't like Hunter, they can just DMCA him? Yep. As long as they don't, as long as they, he does not, as Hunter does not have permission to have that video or that stream, they can DMCA Hunter and not you. I mean, I'm really likable, so there's probably better examples out there, but... Uh, yeah. <sighs> Maybe the other way around. Um, <laughs> so, literally, the power is in the game dev's hands. Um, right. And a lot of questions I got around that time were centered around, oh, well, how can Firewatch revoke PewDiePie's license, but not everybody else's? Oh, Are all yeah. the licenses revoked? Right. You can revoke it for a single person. Yeah. Um, it 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 is terrifying. Um, but they, can't, they don't because... Primarily, like we're marketers, we market their game. Exactly. Like we, it's symbiotic, right? So, for example, you'll see. Um, sometimes you'll stream and you'll see uh, below your screen, buy this game on Steam. Those games definitely you have a license to stream, but know that your license can be revoked at any time, and you can get DMCA's for past stuff um, unless you specifically have it in your contract to um, that that license is irrevocable. So we're all just constantly floating with DMCAs all the time. Yeah. 